before I start the official um, recording, I do want to say this island, very enticing. Really tempted to spend those 2,500 coins. Not gonna lie, it's really pretty. So if you see me um, playing games with uh, later, or later games with decks that have this in there, you'll know that I gave into the temptation. Anyway, um, welcome back to the Popper Standard Trials. This time around, we'll be doing mono red. Sadly, mono black nor mono blue really had good matchups. Um, I felt like they were they were pretty okay for what they were doing. I think I just got in the bad matchups with those. But here's hoping that red can do a little bit differently this time around. Uh, so, this Mono Red Popper deck is actually a personal favorite of mine. I'm um, not gonna lie, this one I built a while ago. I just really like how it runs, it's hilarious. Um, it only runs 16 mountains because everything is two or less, and sometimes um, it feels like the 16 mountains are even too much. Um, it runs four of the Ancestral Anger because being able to pump the creatures and being able to draw off of it is super nice. Swiss Spear because get to swinging as fast as possible strangle one mana deal three damage to a creature or a planeswalker that planeswalker has part has helped me many a times uh, a braid solid removal three damage to a creature or destroy an artifact uh, sometimes those equipments can really uh really hurt this deck especially if it's equipments that can give life link like shadow spear uh that's what i mostly abrade in the games that i've played where i've gone against equipments shadow spear is usually the one that i take out quickly um dwarven forge chanter i like him i like the early game um of the they can pay two life and kill them with the spell if they want to so it kind of helps this deck with you know lowering their life if not then he is still a 1-3 with prowess uh so he will get bigger festival crasher um this one is just one that can pump up super fast especially if i can get some ancestral angers out or any of my stuff further down uh last creature is kessid flame breather um, he's just a nice, simple, everything I cast that's not my few creatures that I have. I think I have, what, 16 creatures in total, which I know feels a little creature heavy, but uh, trust me when I say that I hit my non-creature spells quite frequently. Um, but this one is, now, now I probably just jinxed myself. <laughs> um, but this one is super nice, just being able to deal that one damage every time I play one of my mini non-creature spells. Um, and then having that three toughness body on him is super nice. Um, Lightning Strike, just a solid three damage to anything. Rouse Reinforcements, triggers my prowess and lets me go wide. Uh, Reckless Impulse... Uh, and it's, it basically speaks for itself. The amount of value that you get from it is so nice. And the fact that it's until the end of your next turn. So you get two turns to play the stuff that you exile. And the fact that they have Rin's Resolve, which is the same exact card, just a different name. So you basically have an eight of the same card in this deck. And those, those two are what really empower this deck. And it surprises me that when I go up against the more control style decks, they tend to not counter these cards. They counter the other stuff. And usually these cards are what uh, get me out of the bind that they put me in. So it ends up being pretty nice through that. Um, but it's pretty straightforward, streamlined. Prowess, red deck wins, shoot stuff, exile stuff, play stuff. The whole red thing. Nothing fancy, but still super fun. It's the kind of shut your brain off and play. Speaking of play, um, just like the others, uh, the mono red popper deck is standard legal. It's going to be played in best of one. I get three matches to see how well it can do. Maybe it can win all three. Maybe it can win two of the three. I hope it at least wins one of the three because the last two decks have just not been that lucky. Um, the other ruling that I have for myself on this is 
the popper legal um, I kind of mix it up just a little bit I go one extra step and if there's not a um, common printing on arena of the card I do not use it in popper just just to make the deck building easier that way I'm not having to check to see what is actually popper legal in the uncommon field on arena uh, just in case you know 10 15 years ago it was printed at common at one point this is just so I can go exactly with all the commons I have available to me use them and don't have to worry about potentially being wrong and using an uncommon that I thought might have been a common but with this it's only commons and mono red popper let's see how it goes I hope I didn't hype it up too much and it just fails me <laughs> no I have faith in it it's gonna do great Do, 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 do. Ooh, baby. And I get to go first? Yes. That. That is quite nice. Ooh, my swift spear. I'll attack. Ooh, and tabs. That's it. I'm dropping the festival crasher. It's too enticing. Nice, nice. Hmm. Yeah. Let's rinse resolve. Come on, give me a land. You know it's what I want. Nice. Oh my god, it's even better. I get to strangle that and hit them for some damage, baby. Let's go. Boom, boom. Down to 10 life. It's what the deck like to do, it like to be speedy. I'm a little worried. And then I'm gonna ancestral anger the monastery supposed to be. Now I'm gonna attempt to attack. What you got? That's fine. Boop. <laughs> Man, that three four oh that lifelink's gonna kill me. I'm just gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to use all my resources. The good thing is is that means unless they gain life next turn, I can just lightning strike them. What they got? What they got? Is that another Spara's headquarters? Oh, it's a Rufine's Tower. But three Spara's headquarters, that's crazy. Oh. Oh, it was a herd migration deck. Nice. I'm glad I was able to outpace that one. Those things definitely went in the long run, being able to make all of those animals. I don't want those elephants. All right. Well, that was a fast start. <laughs> That's exciting. I am glad that it is starting off really well. That was what, like a like a three or four minute game? Maybe five minutes? That was really fast. But that's what it do. They can't shoot that Swiss spear. Oh baby. Nice. Alright, so they get to go first this time. But, it does let me draw stuff, so that's fine. Eat it! Okay, we got the crowbar. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, I think I'll... 
think I'll take that hit for a turn. No attacks. I want to make it where my festival crasher can really benefit off of me casting them. Prototype and double strike. Neat. And they did not attack. Oof. Alright. That'll work. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I'm gonna shoot the double striker. Oh, nice. I only have two lands, but that's all I need. Just kidding. Please give me more lands. <laughs> Exile. Oh wow. Wait, so you get to exile something and you get a power stone? That's crazy, dude. That's absolutely wild. Okay. Let's go wide. First strike. Neat. No, I'll just take the two. Nice. see what they do. Neat. Um, do I want to? No, I won't. I'll just let it happen. Didn't think. All right, let's drop that festival crasher. That way, if I can get another lands, ooh, a Ren's Resolve would be quite nice. Wow, they are not missing their land drops. They're in the exact opposite boat of me. What's this? Exalt one target artifact or creature. Oh, wow. Okay. One of those kind of decks. Neat. They always like doing the enchantment decks against the mono red or the mono black decks. It's like, no, not the one thing I can't stop. Please. Alright. Time to give you trample. Ooh. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead and shoot that creature. Alright, what else we got? I'm assuming another exile effect. It would make the most sense. I do like the art for the elementals though. Nice little elemental goat ram. Probably a ram. It's got the long horns. Maybe it's an Antica. The Eternal Wonder. Well that sucks. I've made it just in time. You're okay. coming with me. That's what you wanna do. Neat. Oh, 
come on, you should have attacked. <laughs> That's what you should have done. Hmm. Can attack. Okay, so it's just the eternal wound. Um, dang. The hard part is I know. That's a tough one. You know what? Yeah, I think I will take that route with it. I'm gonna shoot their creature. And then I'm just gonna ancestral anger my goat. Really put that pressure on him. Yeah, let's make it where you can't mind us for so easy. I know I probably should have hit that, but I'd rather put the pressure. What's this thing do? Okay, so you can scry two. You have what two cards in hand? Neat. Okay, so you're making the Stop samurai the with double strike. Blade. That is wild, but that is zero. Well, it is a six drop. That is true. Alright. Hmm. Same looking good, chief. <laughs> Gain light draw card. Gain light draw card. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and shoot that wander. Boom. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy too. Boom. Might as well kill the Swift Spear, baby. Yep, I'll do the Mender, because at least the uh, Overseer doesn't get a whole lot from it. Alright. Man, they're really putting up a fight on this one. <laughs> Though at the same time, I feel like I probably would have won had I gotten one more land instead of that guy. <laughs> Or maybe not, you know. There is no telling. It truly is not. Really? Huh. Alright. Interesting. Ooh, got it. Nice. Alright. Are you gonna scry to? Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Okay. That's brutal. <laughs> the fact that I'm drawing the same guys. I haven't seen any of the eight Rin's Resolve effects <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh man. Warland. That's crazy. knew it. I knew I was going to jinx myself. Wait. Alright. She have a lot of find out just for two months. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Hmm. Oh yeah, Giotta does that stuff. Alright. Well... That one's going to be GG. <laughs> Sadly, a uh, pauper doesn't have board wipes. But the fact that a pauper deck is just, wow, all of the exile effects. It's like exile and life gain on... Alright, that one's at least an artifact, but all the enchantments and the life gain, it's like they're going, oh, you're playing mono red? There you go. Have fun with it. Ooh, yep. I'm at least gonna play my guys. What do you have that you can... Is it just the crew ability? Oh, 
Alright, swing at me. Got them all the way down to five. Sad times. Alright. Huh, one one, lost one. Fair enough. I mean for what that deck was, I felt like the, I felt like the mono red popper deck held its own pretty well. It was so close to being there, but um, <laughs> the arena shuffler said no. As it does to me, every now and then, every now and then it does. My last live stream on one of the drafts I did, I ran six swamps. I started off with one swamp in hand. Hey, that'll work. I started off with one swamp in hand and something that swamp cycled. I uh, played my planes and then did my swamp cycling for one. Got the second swamp and in the next four turns I drew the other four swamps in my deck. Drawing nothing else that could help me from dying. It was insane Ooh, nice uh, let's go ahead and get mr. Pinger out battlefield 10 oh, okay oh yeah the new evolving wilds pretty much I think I'm just going to play Festival Crasher. Oh, okay. I was like, what in the world? I thought they had a one-mana creature counter spell. I was going to be scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to save that Ancestral Anger for next turn when Festival Crasher can benefit from it. Really? There's gotta be a motive. Why would you not shoot the festival bitch? That's wild. Just in case you have flash shenanigans. Neat. Let's see if I can get in for damage. Oh, wow. I honestly was not expecting to get in for damage. Neat. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I can't say no to that. Now we're gonna Rins Resolve, baby. Oof. Alright, then. Let's make you take seven. And then I guess I'll just reckless impulse and hope that I can draw another runes resolve. Or not runes resolve, another mountain. I have the runes resolve. I don't need another runes resolve right now. I just need a mountain to seal the deal. That's all I need. Fair enough. Well, let's reckless impulse and see what we can get. Maybe there's the mountain. Let's go a little wide, shall we? Boom, boom. Down to one. And they make their way out of it. Okay. You need three more blockers. Or a way to get rid of three creatures. I assume that. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm just gonna attempt to upgrade. Nice. Good game! Nice! I'll take two out of three wins. 
solid, solid. But yeah, that's the mono red popper deck. Like I said, I enjoy playing it because it's kind of a just shut your brain off and do stuff, except for that second game. Usually when you have to go against life gain, um, there is still the small chance to win if you can both play your cards right and have um, good draw luck. <laughs> Uh, but the, the, those are really the only games where you really have to think with that deck, honestly. It's a nice, fun play it to get your daily, weekly wins. If you have any play X red spells, that deck cycles through red spells pretty well. Um, the, the first game that I played where Swiss Spear was doing its attacking and I was able to filter through a good few cards of my deck. That one is the more consistent of it. Uh, the last two it played a little bit weirder, um, but that's just that's just RNG. I mean, you never know what you're going to uh, have to play with when it comes to magic. Sometimes your decks run flawlessly and sometimes they, uh, they do some weird stuff. But the weird stuff is what makes it interesting, at least in my opinion. Um, anyway, that was it for the uh, Popper Standard Trials of Mono Red. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, and hooray, one of the Popper decks did really well. Uh, until next time, thanks for checking me out.